When Satan rebelled, he was then the ruler of the world, appointed to that position by Jehovah. Because of Satan's rebellion, Jehovah gave his word that in his own due time he would take the rulership away from Satan and give the kingdom of the world to Christ Jesus. Jehovah could have done this immediately following the rebellion of Satan, but because Satan had declared that God could not put men on earth who would be faithful and true to him, God permitted Satan to continue his rule for a stated period of time that the great question or issue in dispute might be tried and fully determined. God declared that in the meantime he would have faithful men on earth act as his witnesses and when the time limit expired then he would exhibit his supreme power by destroying Satan and his organization in order that all may know that he is the true and almighty God and the source of all life. More than 19 centuries ago Jesus came to earth and Jehovah anointed him to be the king of the world and for this reason Jesus began to preach the kingdom of heaven is at hand meaning that he, Jesus, was the king, and that now he had been appointed to that high position. Satan immediately set about to kill Jesus because God had appointed Jesus to rule the world. Satan employed ever known means to cause the death of Jesus. The clergy of that day were the chief instruments of the devil used to kill Jesus. In time, Satan caused his wicked angels to crucify Jesus. And then Satan concluded that he had rid the earth of its promised king. He was afraid Jesus would be resurrected from the dead, and he tried to prevent his resurrection, but in that he failed. Jehovah showed his superior power by raising Jesus out of death, and then exalted him to the highest place in the universe. Jesus was then the king, but Jehovah required him to wait until the proper time to begin his reign. Jesus told his disciples that he must die and be raised from the dead and then he must go away and receive the kingdom and then he would return again and receive his faithful followers to himself, set up his kingdom and put it in full operation. The coming of Christ Jesus and of his kingdom therefore is of the greatest interest to all real men because it means the end of Satan's wicked rule in this earth and the beginning of lasting righteousness here. For this reason, Jesus taught his followers to pray continually, Thy kingdom come. By constantly praying this prayer, his followers would show that they are in full heart accord with the kingdom of righteousness and on Jehovah's side. During the past 19 centuries, Jehovah has caused the truth to be told to the people, and some have believed it and have become the faithful followers of Christ Jesus. During that period of time, Jehovah has taken out from amongst the world men and women, and made them his witnesses in the earth. Now the end of Satan's world has come. Christ Jesus has taken his power and begun his reign. And now his faithful followers still on the earth, appointed to be the witnesses of Jehovah, must give testimony to the people concerning the kingdom. They are commanded to tell the people that Jehovah is God, Christ is king, and the kingdom is here. In obedience to this commandment, men and women for some time have been going about the country proclaiming this truth to the people both by word of mouth and printed message. Many people have been supplied with books explaining these great truths and have been greatly rejoicing therefor. Up on the earth today there is much wall, distress and perplexity. And some persons are falsely trying to make the people believe that God is responsible for such distress and suffering. Satan causes many schemes to be brought forth by men which schemes it is claimed will bring peace and prosperity to the people. But all of these schemes are certain to fail, the reason being that the time has come for God's kingdom under Christ to rule the world. Therefore, Jehovah says to those who are on his side and of goodwill and who desire righteousness, Behold my servant, Christ, whom I have chosen, my beloved, and whom my soul is well pleased. I have put my spirit upon him, and he shall show justice to the nations. And in his name alone shall the nations hope. The kingdom under Christ is here, and soon it will dash to pieces Satan's rule, that the way may be made clear for righteousness to continue forever in the earth. The destruction of Satan's organization will take place at Armageddon, which is near at hand, and then the blessings will flow to the people to their joy and well-being.